Good afternoon, Simmers. This is Quentin J. Parker, your pilot. And we are at Duluth International Airport at its southwest end, where the Cirrus ramp would be, to dig into the working title simulations revision of the Cirrus SR-22T G6. And I'm letting you know from Jump Street, at least internally, there's not a lot going on interactively. The fuses, not interactive. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's alternative air, so that's okay. So, just at first glance, they did rework the interior to match its G6 aesthetic, so that's cool. We got our keyboard and plush leather seats. No caps, again. Also, neither the doors or the door handles work. So you're bolted inside like a suicide pilot. Okay, the console flips up. Yay, but that's it. Uh, t -t 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 none of the items on the ceiling do anything. So the right side off for fuel selection does not work. And that's a carryover from the original design. No clue why the lights would come on as soon as I apply power, but okay. Uh, the G6 actually does come with the Garmin G1000 NXI, so that's cool. Start this up. And the engine turns right over, just like it came straight from the factory. All right, the display back up works. Nice. Okay, no warm up on the cylinders. They're ready to go as soon as you power up. I guess this plane has flown several hours today. As best as I understand them, working titles bread and butter is avionics. So, for the most part, I'm pleased by what I'm, I'm seeing. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. We're going to do a real quick hop to uh, Grand Rapids, to Atasca County Airport, or Gordon Newstrom Field. I guess there's uh, some discord on the actual naming of the aerodrome, but okay. Let's go to Grand Rapids! Yeah. So let's plug in our destination. Make use of this lovely keyboard. This handy bandy. Hang on. Okay. I'm not getting any input from the keyboard. Let's see. Let's try something else. Hang on. Uh, flight plan. Let's try G. Oh! Oh! Oh, that is not cool! <laughs> that's, that's not cool! You can't enter data using the keyboard if you're trying to do anything on the PFD. Oh, not good. No change in the electrical bus when I turn on the AC. Wow. 
the flaps are really loud. I don't know if the sound of the, the flaps motor is that pronounced, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's loud. Visors can only fold up and down, not side to side. Oh, okay, oxygen doesn't work. That's not cool. This is a turbo G6. I should be able to go up well above 18,000 feet. And without oxygen, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, the ELT switch doesn't appear to mouse click up, but it does go up with the roll wheel. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, we got our checklists. Oh, that's cool. That's useless. Airport charts are not included, so can't use safe taxi. Alright, I think I've spent enough time dorking around. Let's get out of here. Uh, I am steering with the rudder. Differential braking is not modeled. This is looking less and less like a Cirrus plane the longer I, I'm, I'm in it. Online in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I definitely got to check the approach. Yet. Yeah, this thing sounds uh, super rickety. Yeah, like it's the right flyer or something, or a cardboard classic rather than a million dollar aircraft. I initially threw a fit when I saw that we were only generating 2500 RPM. So the Cirrus SR22 G6 comes with the Continental TSIO 550K. That is rated for 315 horsepower at 2500 RPM, not 2700 like the G3s. Okay, the backup gauges match the primaries. That was a bit of an issue in the first iteration of Microsoft's SR22. I am really not sure what happened. The GPS navigation mode took quite a while to activate. I was trapped, trapped <laughs> in uh, uh, autopilot and roll mode for some strange reason, but uh, it eventually kicked in, so we're on our way. The 
cool lean assist is modeled. Alright, that's cool. Looks like the engine can be damaged. Just got a turbine inlet temperature warning for the rest of you. Grow up. Okay, I'm well aware that I'm in a slight descent. Not to worry, I'm not gonna crash. I'm just trying to figure out this thing. It operates just a little differently than I was expecting. Right, let's increase the mixture and back off the throttle. That should cool things down a little bit. So the release of the uh, G6 for Flight Sim came out just in time for Cirrus to release the G7 for 2024. And it's nice. I, I cannot wait for somebody to model this thing. Like this simulated plane, most of the work was done on the interior. Unlike this simulated plane, it's all upgrades and it works. The flight deck for the SR series now, the SR20, the SR22, the SR22T, they now have the same flight deck as the Vision Jet. Yeah, yeah, think about that for a second. So they've got the two primary displays, the, the primary uh, display and the multifunction display, and two smaller GTC touchscreens, which serve as controllers and backup displays. So all four displays are touchscreens, keyboard's gone, you have the option to employ automatic fuel switching. It'll switch every five gallons. It's gone keyless. Push button start. The flaps have under and over speed protection. They removed the caps cover. It's now, uh, you know, perfectly accessible, you know, in an emergency. They've redesigned the side stick and the throttle, and they're more along the lines of the Vision Jet design. The side stick has a stick shaker functionality to warn of an imminent stall. As best as I can see, there, there are no obvious exterior changes, aside from keyless entry. How do I feel about this? Um... And don't get me wrong, I'm all for the upgrades. However, we've lost the rounded, ovular flight deck in the process. It's now very angular. It almost looks like you're in the back of an F-14 Tomcat, really. Not sure how I feel about that, but uh, I'm all for the upgrades. Okay, got the ATIS. We're just going to jump straight to final because I'm through with this thing.
this is a, this is the sound they chose for the SR twenty two. Listen to that and tell me that this doesn't sound like a fruit cart from the old country and not a tight piece of aviation engineering. Get the hell out of here. So that's it. When I first heard about Flight Sims SR-22 being reworked, I was filled with glee, you know, joy. Uh, I wanted this to be so much better than what was initially released and, you know, patched several times. But if I'm being honest, the kindest thing I can say about this is that I'm disappointed and leave it at that. Oh yeah, there's more I can say, but, you know, think of the children. This is Quentin J. Parker, your pilot, and I will catch up with y'all another time. In a better SR-22. I'm out! See ya!